Hello, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 9.29am. Right, I've just had two messages, one from James from Facebook Dating and one from a bloke calling himself Stephen, asking how I am. Right, I'm a bit exhausted, I went up to my mum's yesterday and helped her quite a bit. Right, so I stayed round with my mum, we shared a cottage pie for two. A cottage pie that Sue had bought from Morrison's dated the 25th of December. So my mum, I helped my mum lift things and get to the oven and my mum wanted to cook the cottage pie, right? She gets a bit agitated if I don't do things properly, so I stood out of her way while she cooked the cottage pie. Very nice it was too. Um, I watched, I think it's Peach Dragon or something on the telly. Um, I watched that for a bit. Watched Four in a Bed on telly. My mum gave me these lovely earrings that I'm wearing now. They're not real, they're enamel, blue and like fake, fake uh, diamonds and a fake sapphire, they're, they're, they're like enamel and she gave me those and asked me to put those on. Um, the workers were quite intimidating and frightening, they looked like ex-convicts and I just sat there, none of them had a mask on, I sat there and my mum was going up and down to them, opening the door and, and speaking to them. I didn't say one word. A, they didn't have masks on. They could have come from anywhere. And B, I, 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 don't, I don't like meeting strangers. I don't. My mum's effervescent, bubbly. She goes out there, hello. Made a comment about something <coughs> I'm not like that. My mother's naturally effervescent. I'm a quiet introvert. I like to stay in my own place and I don't like mixing with people. And you can't change somebody. Right? So she went out there all bubbly, 75 years of age, chatting to all these workmen and I just sat down like my dad used to do when she used to do it. When my, it was just, she was treating me the same way as she did my dad. My dad used to sat, sit there. If she wants to go out and chat to every bloke or down the street, that's up to me mum. I'm not like that. I went up there to help my mum. I don't go up there to talk to men. Right? Really convict looking men. Big and stocky. So I have a lunch with my mum. And she said, if I don't see you at Christmas, don't worry about it. Um, Charlotte's been helping my mum. She went down the shop and got my mum a son newspaper last Sunday, which my mum gave me to take home. So my mum's got quite a bit of help at the moment. My, my, my neighbour, her neighbour next door isn't well herself and she's helping my mum. Charlotte's helping my mum. I'm helping my mum. Right, and the saga of the Christmas cards, yeah? I've still got two Christmas cards, and they're from my mother. So all I've got is two Christmas cards, right? I told you it doesn't bother me, so my mum gets her Christmas card. She's got about ten. And she went, look at my Christmas cards. I went, fantastic, mum. The neighbours love you, right? I keep myself to myself, I'm an introvert. I don't go around sticking cards in people's doors. I like my privacy, right? So she's got one from Karen, one from her sister Linda, who mentioned me, Jenny, to Jenny, and Janestra, right? Because that's my real name, Janestra. So it said to my mum, Jenny, and Janestra from Linda, She's got one from her brother Malcolm and Anne that's mentioned my name as well. The neighbour Karen, Lynn and Les, and another neighbour. 
right? And she picked them up and she showed me all her Christmas cards. And I said, Mum, that's good. Because when my dad passed away, he had about one birthday card waiting for him, right? One. And when my dad was alive, I only remember seeing two or three Christmas cards. I don't remember seeing any more. And last night, I watched Frank Spencer on television. And his wife had all the Christmas cards, and he didn't have one either. So on TV, Frank Spencer had no Christmas cards. At least I've got two. And that's how I look at things. Right? Um, when it was time to come home, we had a giant folks taxi, about a 10-seater taxi, with a foreign gentleman driving it. My mum had phoned folks up and said, um, can you make sure Janestra gets home safely? That's my real name. Can you make sure Janestra gets home safely? So this big folks taxi drives up outside my mum's door. The guy is in a hurry. The guy is like all agitated. He wants to get from A to B really fast and he speeds down the road. And I've got my seatbelt on, yeah? I, 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 before he takes off, I'm struggling with my seatbelt. He's a very nice driver, don't get me wrong. He picked up my bags, put them in the taxi. And when I got to my flat, he took my bags out and put them, put them by the door. Very nice guy, but wasn't he in a hurry down the road? Getting agitated every time he stopped at a red, a red traffic light. Yeah, anxious for it to like go to green. And my mum had said, um, keep Janestra safe. And he said, we can go to your place two ways. We can go through Wayfield. That's where my sister used to live with her husband, Amanda. Or we can go the normal way through Rochester. So we went through, we went actually through Chatham Town Centre, up, uh, up Rochester High Street, and got to my address in one piece. And I had my seatbelt on. Folks, large, ten-seater taxi with just me in it. Uh, I did enjoy it actually. I got home and I had to take Max out for a walk in the dark later on. And I was watching all the Christmas episodes of like Dad's Army and stuff um, and uh, Mrs. Mannering's funny lampshades on BBC Two before I took Max out for a walk. And um, unfortunately, there are drug addicts living where I live. So as I was bringing Max home, there was a man walking up the path in the dark, smoking a weed joint. Went in my face, all over Max. Um, cannabis affects animals, he got all agitated. My eyes started running and then this car comes out of nowhere as I'm trying to cross the road and goes round the corner after this bloke has blown weed in my face. And you can't see who it is in the dark anyway. Right? In my next video, I'll show you what I got yesterday. See you later. <laughs>